Hi everyone, for this lesson, you will learn about normalize.css. As you can see, sa preview ng web page natin, may mga margin dito sa left and right part ng navigation. We don't want that. Diba may different kinds tayo ng browser? May Google Chrome, may Mozilla, may Microsoft Edge, Opera, Safari, and more. So, kada browser na to, so may kanya-kanya silang styling din. Yung iba may mga padding, may mga margin, yung iba wala. So, we need a normalized CSS code para yung look ng website natin from one browser will be the same for the other browsers. So, ito yung tinatawag natin na CSS reset. Pero ngayon, may normalize CSS na, na ina-offer for free. So, search natin. So, normalize CSS based on medium.com. is a small CSS file that provides cross-browser consistency in the default styling of HTML elements. That means that if we look at the W3C standard of the styles applied by the browsers and there is an inconsistency in one of the browser, the normalized CSS style will fix the browser style that has the difference. So let's click on this link here. And again, this normalized.css file makes a browser render all elements more consistently and in line with modern standards. It precisely targets only the styles that need normalizing. So let's click on this button. So these are all the CSS codes we need for this file. Let's control A and copy on our brackets. Under the CSS folder, you right click and add a new file. Name it normalize.css. And then paste the codes. So these are the comments. And these are the CSS rules. So for this file to be included in our web page, let's add a link just like this one. Let's copy this line of code and paste it above it. And just change the href value into css slash normalize.css. So when we save and refresh, now we don't have margin on the, the left and right of our nav. So let's add a hover effect on our menus. So on our styled CSS, let's add, we'll target the anchor tags in our nav bar. So nav space anchor colon hover. So this properties here will apply once the anchor tags or the menus are in hover state. So color will be hash f2994a. So we're when we save and refresh, as you can see when we hover the menus, we have an orange-like color in our links. So that is the hover soda class. Again, it matches when the user interacts with an element with a pointing device, but it does not necessarily activate it. So if you have comments and clarifications, please comment it down below. Thank you all for watching. Have a good day.